Hi guys and welcome back to Wondershare Repair It. Easy to use software that's designed to fix corrupted videos, photos, files and more. Being video lovers ourselves, we love using iMovie. It's impressive video editing software for Mac that lets you create any kind of video. If you're an iMovie user, the chances are you've encountered an iMovie video error of losing files due to accidental deletion or virus attacks. In this comprehensive video guide, we'll run through the best ways of iMovie troubleshooting. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on any future videos. Let's start by running through a few iMovie errors that you might encounter. Number one is export failure. When exporting a video, you might discover that iMovie won't export the video due to multiple reasons. There could be some file conflicts, wrong export settings, and so on. Number two is slow speed. This problem is most common for people with an old Mac computer that needs more storage space, or too many commands could also cause the speed to be slow. Number three is a crash. If your iMovie software is crashing, it could be due to a corrupted file or overusing the computer. Number four is a poor camera connection. If you're capturing from your camera directly into iMovie, it's possible to get a poor camera connection error, either because of the USB cable itself or iMovie. And number five is distorted files. When the right importing and exporting procedures are not followed, it can distort the audio and video files causing blurriness in the images. So, how do we fix it? Well, there are a few ways to fix iMovie video errors depending on the problem, so let's run through them now. Firstly, try changing the file name. Your file name should not contain any special characters, so things like hyphens or dashes, so make sure you remove those before trying to export any iMovie video file. Secondly, try changing your export settings. When you're exporting, you might face issues with the H.265 codec of iMovie, and if that's the case, then altering the settings can fix this. Firstly, click File and choose Share. Select File from the options. Make sure Format is set to Video and Audio. Ensure the resolution matches what was captured, set the quality to high, and set the compression to better quality. If your video is still failing to export, you might be able to solve this by fixing the available storage device on your computer. If the storage is not sufficient, then iMovie will either work slowly or improperly. Try deleting the temporary files on your Mac or remove programs that you don't use. The next solution is updating the app. Using an outdated iMovie app can interrupt the video exporting process and cause iMovie to freeze or crash. So it's important to keep the app updated and it's also important to ensure your system meets the app's requirements. If you're experiencing iMovie error 50, this is caused because of corrupted Windows system files, which is the default for rendering video files. And if the app remains open for a long time, iMovie can stop working. Your iMovie app can also slow down if too many commands are used at the same time, so try using fewer commands and make sure you have adequate storage on your device. If you're not having any luck fixing the iMovie error messages, but you want to fix your damaged video files, you'll need a powerful repair tool to repair them. Wondershare Repair It is the perfect tool for the job. It's a one-stop solution for repairing all kinds of corrupted files, including videos, audio, photos, and more. It uses a three-click repair process to fix damaged files while supporting multiple file types too. Let me show you how it works. First, download and install Wondershare Repair It on your computer. Now add the corrupted video files by clicking on the Add button. Once the video is added, the interface will show you the file name, file path, duration, video resolution and filming equipment. Click on the Repair button after adding the video. You'll then see a window that asks you to save and preview it by clicking on the Preview button. 
If the preview shows an improvement in video quality, you can save it by clicking on save. However, you also have the option to try the advanced repair mode if the video quality isn't quite up to the mark. If you've got a shortage of storage space or you're nowhere near your computer, what can you do instead? Well, good news because we also have an online version of Wondershare Repair It that also works on your smartphone. All you need to do is upload your corrupted videos by clicking on the add button, upload a sample video created by the same device if required. After that, select the repair strategy and click on the repair button. You can also add multiple files too by hitting the add files button. So if iMovie video errors have been frustrating you, those are a few tips and tricks to help you fix the problem and get your projects back on track and repair any damaged video files. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. I'll see you in the next video.